Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. So, how do you stay content in the Philippines? Um, the funny thing is, a lot of people don't even think about it, but then they don't realize uh, later on that they can be dragged into a very negative environment. Uh, because there's a lot of small distractions in the Philippines. Uh, what's called um, silent irritants. Because uh, things like the motorbike that goes past your house at 6 a.m. every day, um, you get tired of it. You, you really do. Uh, when you first get there, you're just like, oh, it's a pain. But after a while, when it breaks your sleeping pattern, um, it becomes quite irritating. But you have to focus on the positive sides. What brought you to the Philippines in the first place? Um, what can you do that's um, going to keep you busy and occupied? Because you have to remember a lot of the problems people have are down to one major thing. Too much time. Um, because they haven't built a big enough budget to fill their day out. So as such, what happens? They sit around and complain about everything. Um, they become very stagnant. So look for the positive stuff to do. I mean, there's a lot of sports out there. Uh, there's Filipinos generally are interested in whatever you're doing. I mean, I've had neighbors watch me build a wall before um, because they found it very strange seeing a foreigner actually work. Um, the fact is, you went to the Philippines for a reason, and remember that, um, because a lot of the time, some people may be escaping from headaches in the West somewhere, whether it's an ex-wife or something else, but remember, when you made the decision, there was something that drove you to say, that's what I want to do. Um, for me, one of the key ones is watching the sunrise. Um, it can be very beautiful yeah, if you get up early enough to watch it. Um, but that is one of the things that I love. I mean, I was sat even where I am today, uh, up in Middlesbrough, um, had my curtains open on the hotel window, got up about three, four in the morning and seen the sunrise out the window. That, that for me is a small thing that's available anywhere in the world. It's free. <laughs> Um, but it's something that I find quite motivational. Um, it's a positive thing first thing in the morning because you may be getting up for work and think, oh, I really don't want to be doing this. But at the same time, a beautiful sunrise that a lot of people uh, don't even look at. That's what I'm saying. The small stuff can be quite, quite a good thing to focus on. Um, also, remember, I mean, most of you guys have gone out there and found a beautiful wife or whatever the fact is remember what you what you have in your life don't complain about what you don't have that's all the consumerism crap that some of us myself um have actually abandoned where possible it's it's not it's not about that the new iphone doesn't matter it won't make any difference to the last iphone because the features on it are insignificant for most people um i remember when the new samsung come out the new samsung phone and i said oh it's more curved oh i better go and buy that then or maybe i won't <laughs> i'd much rather um focus on time with the family i'd rather take time out and do stuff as a group in the Philippines it's visiting places that's why I say to people try and get out at least once a month and do something because it's not only about different places and different environments but also each area has got something it's famous for um, it's interesting to actually find out what's going on um, for example Minglanilia where I live is famous for tailors and seamstresses Kaka is famous for um, shoes, uh, people that make shoes. Um, our gal has this, um, like delicate, like, um, it's, it's like a bread type thing. Every area has something, and it's all a, very unique to the area they're in. And it, 
you know, you can make it make a thing of it where you actually try and get to the different places on your island or even wherever you go. You know, maybe you travel around a lot and try to get to some of these interesting places. But the whole point is, add fun in your life. There's always there's always a reason not to do something. This is what I keep saying to uh, my brothers at the moment because it's very easy to demotivate. It's very hard to motivate because it's very easy to not do something. Um, once the wheel starts turning, the motivation starts, but you have to get that wheel turning. And that's why I say to keep on the positives is very important because the fact is you're keeping um, why you're there, what makes you happy, uh, stuff you can get involved in, get interested in because otherwise it does get a bit tedious and boring. That's why so many expats sit whining on the internet at the same time having a bottle of whatever um, on a daily basis. That's not life. You're, you're not happy. <laughs> um, happiness is about doing stuff that's fun. Um, doesn't matter what it is. I mean, where we are in Spain, I'm like, because I'm right next to the beach, I'm tempted to get a kayak. Now, I don't kayak, but the fact is it's so close, I'm thinking, we'll just get one and see what happens, <laughs> because that's that's what you do, you know, you find the fun stuff. Um, in the, the Philippines, it's all around you. Um, the stuff that Filipinos get up to, that you may even, even think of, because sometimes I'm up at like three in the morning, I watch people going off to the fish market and stuff when I'm in the Philippines and going off fishing. And I'm thinking, I wouldn't mind going out fishing for the day on one of those little bankers. Um, a lot of people may think that's a bit crazy to go on one of these little fishing boats, but at the same time, I'd be interested to do it. And that, that, that's why there's always something to do. It's, it's looking at the um, opportunities around you. Because people like you getting involved anyway. I mean, that, that's one of the things that is very good in the Philippines is people will let you do whatever you want. You know, if you if you were in a fish market and said, can I have a go at gutting the fish? They're not going to say no. Um, in the same way, people will let you ride their motorbike, car or whatever. It's... It, it's a very unique environment compared to the West where um, before you do anything, you have to fill in a form. Um, there has to be a risk assessment, a method statement, blah, blah, blah. The Philippines let you do what you want. Um, so embrace that. That's one of the reasons I love the place is the fact is I can ride a motorbike without, without a helmet. And I know people go, oh, what if, what if this happens? If I wrap myself in bubble wrap every day, I would suffocate and Quite simply, one of the freedoms I have in the Philippines is the ability to go around on a motorbike. And yes, I'm aware a lot the Philippines um, enforce uh, the helmet. Um, at the same time, when you go more provincial, it's a lot more laid back. Um, and that's what I want. That's what I want in life. I, I think... Um, a lot of the world has become so obsessed with idiot proof. Um, my saying this week is stop making things idiot proof to stop hiring idiots. Um, because that's, that's my view on it. It's all right being, oh, you've got to do this. Why if somebody doesn't? What about people actually start thinking? Because I think a lot of the problem today is people are getting herded into cattle. Um, they're stopping to think for themselves because if everything's idiot proof, you don't put yourself um, on the side of uh, caution. You assume somebody's gonna look after you. I mean, it's a bit like the fairground, fairground ride at um, Alton Towers. The expectation of that accident happening is minute. Um, to the point people were on the ride the following day because the level of safety is so high that people don't even consider it a risk. Now, you may think, well, yeah, but that's safety. You know, safety is supposed to be like that. But the point is, I'm saying, is people still turned up and went because um, they're just like, well, it'll be fine. Um, but myself, I'll be like, well, wait till the report comes out i'm a bit fussy on stuff like that because i deal with health and safety stuff on a daily basis and the fact that if you have something fail 
uh, so catastrophically. Um, need to identify where and uh, on that stuff I do take an interest but like I said riding around a motorbike that's up to you you know because the fact is the risk is me you know the risk is to myself as such I'm not putting my hands in somebody else um, but like I said look around and before you go to the Philippines sit and look at what you want to do and what you're going to get up to one of the things I've started doing recently is getting back into drawing because I like drawing um, skip with sketch pads um, and it's something I've started doing again um, it's my daughter got me back in it my daughter Nicole uh, because she, she's got into art at school so I started buying her stuff for her artwork and then I thought oh, I'll get some of this for myself so I bought her, I bought her like um, the uh, what do you call it the canvas for painting and stuff and I bought her some sketchbooks and stuff but I like, I like painting but I know I'm not good at it um, I love sketching but I just need to start doing it more and getting back into it because I find it relaxing so th that's just an example of something you could be doing is keeping a sketchbook with you because tons of stuff to look at around the Philippines there's quite unique you know a lot of people say oh well every town's the same um i would say if you look at it from the surface it is because it's it's consumerism gone mad um but at the same time i would say look look below the surface because there's a lot of stuff that you may not notice um i think it was in naga I've seen the long houses, which I haven't seen anywhere else. Um, which is basically the, it's a house, but you know it's long. <laughs> That's, so something like that fascinates me. The same as you will come across other little unique buildings and bits and pieces. A lot of stuff is not advertised in the Philippines. Everyone has this obsession where everybody just knows where it is anyway, and I can't understand why that happens. I don't know what environment thinks that's normal, where everybody just knows anyway unless it was a village but you're talking areas where there's a million people where um, a lot of people are tourists a lot of people are traveling through etc they don't know so the, there's always something to do um that, but that all keeps you motivated and content with life um and that's why i say it's so important all right thanks for watching